from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Find out our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 800 Tom. 1 800 866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. Guys. We'll be in college soon. You know who's going to be in college, right? Girls that used to be in high school. No. Women. Women, bro. We're staring into the future here. And the future is women. Hey, maybe we should break up with our girlfriends, too. That would be sweet. We'd have the whole summer to hang out together. Party and get with every chick in sight, man. Not a lame-ass girlfriend's hanging around us. Yeah, man. They suck. That's what I'm saying. They suck. Yeah! It's brilliant, man. Such a good idea. My Dexter's a god. My Dexter's a role model. It's like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom class. Is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of like is 101. As we head into summertime classes here, uh, some of you obviously have been failing. Some of you have not been getting the job done. That's why some of you need to take summer school. And so as we head towards summer school here, let me uh, school you on the basics of Like Us 101. Uh, the most important thing about Like Us 101, you must know, is that dating equals porking. The purpose of going on a date, men, is to get laid. Many of you have been going on dates because you've been asked to go to see a movie or to go to a concert or you've been invited to a wedding or whatever. These are not dates. A date is to get laid. Women redefine the word date as in, Oh, you're going out with Bill to dinner on Friday night. That's great. You two have a good time. Hey, wait a minute. This is not a date. What do you mean it's not a date? This is not a date. We're just having dinner. That's a conversation that uh, women have all the time. And what that means is it's not a date because they're not going to have sex. Going on a date means having sex. I mean, to me, a date is a date. If you have a day, a time, and a location, that's a date. Women redefined it to meaning uh, a date in which you will meet and then uh, with, uh, the, the, the intention is to have sex. So if you have a date scheduled for this weekend and you're not absolutely sure that getting laid is your objective, cancel it now. Right now. Cancel it. Dating equals porking. Like as 101 students believe in the three strikes you're outlaw. If a woman does not put out within three dates, no ifs, ands, or buts, you kick her to the curb. No second chances. No exceptions if they're an 8, 9, or a 10. No, no, no. Three dates and out. There's no chemistry. There is no chemistry if you haven't had sex in the first three dates. She doesn't want to have sex with you, or you can't close the deal. But whatever the reason is, back out of the driveway. Stop calling her. Stop seeing her. Stop spending money. Cut your losses. 
One of the basics of Lycus 101 is that you cut your losses. Forget it. Get out. Like as 101 students, do not date single mothers. Single mothers already made at least one mistake. You don't want to be paying for the next one. Some schnook, some schmuck, some putz is paying her right now for the other mistake. Why would you want to be next? If she's got kids, it means she'd likely have more. And if you make a mistake, she will profit. Like as 101 students never, ever, ever have sex without a condom. Like as 101 students never believe a woman when she says, I'm on the pill, I can't get pregnant, the doctor says it can't happen. I'm on Norplant, I'm on an implant, I'm on IUD, I got this, I got that. Forget it. Like as 101 students know, and if you don't know, I'm telling you now, the pull-out method does not work. Don't tell me that because you haven't impregnated somebody that it works. It doesn't work. The pull-out method is a myth. If you are using the pull-out method as your means of birth control, stop immediately. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. There is no doubt about it. It does not work. I, I know many people amazingly are shocked to hear this. The pull-out method doesn't work. Like as 101 students do not tolerate women talking on a cell phone when they're on a date. Don't tolerate them sending text messages when they're on a date. If we're paying for a date... We're paying for your undivided attention. And by the way, when we pay, we don't spend more than 40 bucks on a date. Got that? No gifts, no concert tickets, no sports tickets, no weekends away. Never, ever give her your DNA in the form of sperm. Never, ever give it to her. That is like giving her a blank check. Ever. Ever. When you use a condom, if you don't flush it, be sure to put Tabasco sauce in that condom so you will burn her cooch if she tries to take the contents of that condom and redeposit. Trust me when I tell you. I can't make this any simpler for you. The idea, you want to get laid. You don't care about her feelings. You treat women like crap because that's what keeps them coming back for more. When you treat women like crap, they want to keep dating you. Yes, they get frustrated. Yes, they tell their friends what a jerk you are. But they can't stop banging you. The very fact that an a-hole like me continues to get laid gives you hope. If I can get laid being the jerk I am, the bastard I am, the son of a bitch I am, if I can get laid as consistently as I do, so can you. Just be a jerk. And nice guys never get laid. Never, ever. Even when nice guys end up getting married, she fantasizes about the bad boy she was nailing before she was with you. My job as your professor is to help you avoid commitment, avoid relationships, avoid marriage. I am here to see that you don't waste time or money or energy on chicks who are not going to give you what you came for, which is to get laid. Do you want to join this classroom conversation as we begin summer school in Lycus like 101? You can call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM if you want to talk to your professor. If you are one of the people who disagrees, who is a complete pussy, who is angry at what your professor is saying, you can call here, 1-800-5800-866. We encourage vigorous classroom discussion, conversation, and dissent in this classroom. So you call 1-800-5800-TOM, and you can get in here for whatever purpose. And by the way, uh, like us 101 works in other countries as well. If you're listening to us on the Internet and you would like to call us from another country, call our international line. The country code is 1. The area code is 323. The number is 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. So whether you're a single mother who's pissed off at me because I tell the guys not to date single mothers, whether you're a guy who has no game and you're trying to get laid, this is where you get all your questions answered. Now, all you have to do is dial. Dumb, 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 dumb like it. 
1-800-5800-TOM. My ex called me the other day. She said, oh, I'm having problems. I need to talk. It's been two years. She has two guys who she doesn't know who her baby father could be. And that would have been me, too, if it wasn't for Likus 101. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. Likus 101, I am your professor. Now, one 800 800 top Thank you for tuning in. Cody. Oh, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Man, I tell you what. I'm in Dallas. We have the Dallas debutantes, of course. Beautiful women here in Dallas, Texas. And you know what? I can treat them like however I want to. You know, I got the bad boy. I'm not the best looking guy in the world. I'm like 5'5", five, five, you know, 130 pounds. But I go to these bars. I meet beautiful women. They want to, you know, start dating and all this. You know what? I tell them, look, you want to go out with me? I'll set up a date with them. But then I cancel on them. I go to the, I go to the strip clubs with my buddies and drink beer all night long. But you know what? They call me right back. Where have you been all night? Well, you know, what are you doing next weekend? They, they, they fall for it. They love it. They love the bad boy image. I drink. I smoke. Tattoos. The whole nine yards. They love it. That's they what it they up. love. You're absolutely right. That's what they love. You know what? And, and, and being the nice guy, I've tried to be the nice guy. I've tried to do the nice guy approach. Then all women want is you to take them out, spend money on them. You know, they want the fine dinners. They want the nice dates. Uh-uh. That's not me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. If you're down with me, and you really want to go with me, hey, let's go to McDonald's. We'll grab a hamburger, and we'll see what happens after that. Right. You know, I'm not spending any money on these Dallas debutantes. You know what? They call me. I get my action. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. They, they fall in love with the bad boy image, and I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Women but like being treated like crap. I mean, if you talk to any woman, any woman, ask her what her last boyfriend was like, and the one before that, and the one before that, and ask her what her husband was like if she's been married. She's going to tell you every one of them was a jerk, every one of them was a pig, every one of them was an a-hole. But, but think what? about it. Every I... one of these a-holes got laid. Yeah, they did. And I'm treating them even more like an a-hole than their husband was. And they're right. up. And I don't know why. You know, it, it works for me, so I'm, I'm going to continue to use it. Good for you. I'm not looking to get married. I'm just looking to get laid. That's all I'm looking for. So that's what the game's all about here in Dallas. I'm glad you understand it, Cody. Absolutely. I've been down the marriage route. It's not for me anymore. Who Absolutely. needs it? What's in it for you? Nothing. I lost my house. I lost my truck. You know? Yeah. Yeah. A, a, a ton of money? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not going down that route again. You learned it the hard way. Yeah, I did. And now I'm living it up because of Tom Likas. <laughs> I followed I followed your 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 school book and, and, and everything like that, and here I am. Perfect. I get laid all the time. I love it. I That's am great. proud of you, Cody. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Sean is listening to our online stream. He's in Cincinnati. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sean. How you doing tonight? I'm doing okay. Fantastic. Well, you know, I have a little predicament here. I just went to a film festival recently, Cincinnati, of all places to have a film festival, huh? But uh, Yeah, really? I... Aren't half the films in this country banned in Cincinnati for one reason or another? <laughs> <laughs> well, as conservatives they are. Isn't that uh, where Larry Flint got in all that trouble? Come on. <laughs> Well, uh, what happened is I, I ended up meeting this uh, girl that's from Brazil, and she is staying with her sister. Which website did you meet her on? <laughs> well, actually, she was at the film festival, so I, <laughs> I got lucky there. <laughs> you met a Brazilian chick at a film festival in Cincinnati? Wow. I, I indeed did. Yeah, I, I know. I was very surprised. But her sister apparently moved here a long time ago. She's uh -huh. married to some guy who's involved in the whole thing. Wow. Um, so what happened is I, I could hear her. I, I don't know a lot of Portuguese, but I know a little bit of Spanish. It's very similar. So I could kind of understand a little bit of what she was saying, and she was talking about me. So I turned around and started talking to her because I thought it was Spanish at first. I didn't know she was Brazilian. So we strike up this conversation, whatever. I find out she's Portuguese, whatever. What's kind of tough, what I'm trying to figure out now, we hung out a couple nights ago, but we have a language barrier. I need to figure out. You know, I'm looking through the Tom Likas answer key, and I can't figure out the answer to this one. Do I 
you get so used to the American bitches in a sense that you, you get used to treating them like crap. You get tre- used to ignoring them, not spending money on them, all that stuff. Do you kind of soften up with a girl who doesn't subscribe to the Well, here's the American difference. Tradition? I have dated Brazilian chicks, and let me tell you the difference. Uh, Brazilian chicks are very upfront about what they want. Yeah. If they want to get laid, they want to get laid. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money on them. Uh, and it's not like the American chicks where, you know, I'm telling you to do this and it's kind of revolutionary because most guys spend all this money. Uh, but Brazilian chicks, in fact, I go so far as to see a lot of chicks from South America, yeah. honestly, uh, don't expect you to spend a lot of money on them in order to get laid. If they want you, they uh-huh. want you. I, I got to tell you that that's a big rule of my own. I never, I, I won't even buy a drink for a girl. And I know it sounds crazy, but I, I just, I don't believe that no girl's time is worth more, uh, more money than mine. So Nothing crazy about it, money. Sean. Now, you, there you are in Cincinnati, where half the stations are owned by Clear Channel, so they'll never put our show on. Uh, how did you find out about our show? Well, I actually used to listen to you when I lived. I'm originally from Maryland. I see. Um, and I uh, picked you up over there. I was in Hagerstown, Maryland, of all the uh, little small towns over yes. there. Yes. Uh, I'm no longer on over there either, so uh, I, I don't know what's going on with them. But uh, the whole station changed format, so nothing that was on that station before is on. So, um, But I actually used to live in L.A. for six months, too, so I listened to you religiously when I was over there. And I'm making my way back out there in about uh, three or four months. So, Well, good for you, Sean. Glad to have you. Absolutely. Could you take me out uh, Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. It's Like Us 101. Here comes Jake on Like Us 101. Hello. Tom. Jake. What's cracking locking? Somebody's ass the minute I get out of here. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Hey, I got a story for you. Uh, just recently, this past weekend, my ex-girlfriend called me up. I wouldn't even call her a girlfriend, just a girl I boned for a while. But uh, she calls me up out of the blue and says she's horny and all this other stuff. Come to find out she got engaged uh, shortly after I showed her the axe, and uh, she ended up getting double D implants, and she got engaged and all this other stuff. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I'm glad I, I got, I'm glad I got out of that. But uh, not only that, you got to hit it. Yeah, well, see, here's the story. I never got to hit it while she had the double D's. Oh, I so understand. I was, that. I was thinking about it the whole time back here in California, and yeah, but guess what? Someone had to pay to get access to that. You paid nothing. Not me. That's <laughs> my point. It's like imagine they were delivering a Rolls Royce to the showroom. You got it had zero miles on it. You got to drive it six miles, and then you put it back on the showroom floor. Then some other sucker spent a two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to buy it. <laughs> Great analogy, Tom. Now someone else driving a car that you drove first. There you go. And they paid full price. There you go. And you didn't. Absolutely. That's what it is. Hey, so yeah, I went out there and uh, I had another wonderful day with her, just banging her all day and. She's back with their uh, with their fiance, and um, they're having second thoughts. So I'm doing the like us one on one job here, <laughs> giving her second thoughts. <laughs> I told her Tom sent me. <laughs> you know what you do? Get in a breakup with him, then dump her. Yeah, there you go. She's asking me to move if I if she can move out here to California. I said absolutely not. <laughs> Well, she can move to California, and you'll be happy to show her that there are plenty of fine apartments. There you go. That's what I told her. <laughs> it's a big state. Plenty of now renting sites. <laughs> All right, Tom, keep taking that old school. I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jessica on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Yeah, I'm a first-time caller. Totally love the show. Have a good time listening. Um, Great. But I do have to disagree with a few things that you said today. Um, I don't really think that you get laid because you treat women like crap. I think it's just because you have a lot of money. No, but but I also because I treat them like crap. Because every woman you talk to... By the way, do you have a boyfriend? I... Yeah, I, 
I usually have several, but right now I have one. All right. Well, when's the last time you were in a serious relationship? Um, right now. <laughs> no, before this. Oh, before this, um, I would say four or five years ago. Yeah, and how was that? Um, he treated me pretty well, actually. He treated me pretty well. So why well. why did it end? Um, because he was so much older than me. Um, I was 19 and he was 32, and um, I wasn't yeah. really ready for that big of a commitment. So. <laughs> yeah. Ever dated a jerk? Uh, not. I mean, here and there when I was younger and stupid, yeah, but after I learned my Darling, we I want know. them young and stupid. That's how we want them. Young and stupid. Once you've learned not to be young and stupid, doesn't do us any good anymore. That's what we want. Hot, young, and stupid. I am really hot. I'm a hot chick, but I'm not stupid. So uh, stupid. Good... We prefer stupid. Okay. okay. And the reason, you think I'm kidding, but the reason we prefer stupid is because smart chicks can never shut up. We did a story a few weeks ago about uh, women with higher IQs and higher education. Uh-huh, which I, don't, I'm, I'm graduating. Don't from. enjoy sex as much as less intelligent, less educated women. Huh, well, because they that. because they intellectualize too much, they're constantly thinking. They can't get their minds uh, on the sex that they're having. They're always thinking about something else. Well, I, I have to say that all my girlfriends who are super smart, they have much higher sex drive uh, than most of the men they're with. They have Again, to. just because they have a sex drive doesn't mean they're being satisfied. What do you mean by that? No, they having they an orgasm more. every time they have sex. Oh no, I these girls. The, well, do. again, I don't. These fine, do. these these three girls, you know, do. But in general, of the hundreds of millions of women out there, in general, women with higher IQs and higher education do not enjoy sex as much as stupider chicks. I'd like to. I'd like. To, where did this study? Ah, uh, darling, we gave all the details on the air. That's why you have to listen every day. This is not a library; it's a radio show. Oh, okay. So if you if you want to know the uh, source of our information, you have to listen on the day when we give it up. All right. Uh, what is this, a reference library? No, but I... Um, look it up I, on the Internet. Look it up. I will. I'll look it up. I'll okay, look it go up. on. I know that most... Uh, it was just a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. I know that most statistics are usually skewed, so... Uh, no, I no. that that where, where did you get that from? Um, all of my classes. Does that include the statistic that says most statistics are skewed? Yes. Uh-huh. That one is skewed, too? Uh, no. Oh, that I, one's I just, not skewed. I'm just curious where you guys got the, like, sample of We gave from. it out. I, I didn't do the survey. Where did we get the sample? What do you think I did, the survey myself? No. Uh, I can tell you. you where don't did know. I get the sample? We're, we're, not, we're not scientists. We are, we are a radio program. We don't. We're not anthropologists. We do not go out to the field do research. It sounds like an anthropologist sort of. Uh, yes, but the kind of work I do is usually bubbling water around me when I'm doing my research. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. You know the deal. Yeah. Well, I do appreciate your time. Oh yeah, I'm an anthropologist. I'm also an amateur gynecologist. Gynecologist? I'm an amateur gynecologist. That's right. I'm given free pap smears tonight. They call me the human speculum. Oh, that doesn't sound very um, enticing. Hey, you've, you've, you've been with the speculum. Mine is not nearly as cold as the one you're used to. <laughs> well, I have a female gynecologist, so I don't... You don't know what you're missing, dear. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't. We'll put you up with the stirrups. We'll get a good look. <laughs> oh, you're a hoot, Tom. Bye. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Uh, it's Like It's 101. I am your professor. This is Chris. Chris is in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. Um, got a little problem here. Um, I've been, since I got out of high school, I've been, you know, meeting some new women out in the bars and stuff and being Mr. Nice Guy to them, and um, I haven't been getting anywhere. And 
the past two months I've been listening to your show and I've been following your rules close. We can't say that word on the air. I oh, wish I wish sorry. we could. Yeah, because you understand. I mean, it's a, it, look. It's a compound word. You you can say the word ass. That's okay. perfectly acceptable. You can say ass. You can also, if you choose, you can say the word hole. You okay. hole is okay, but well, you can't I'm put the hole. two together. Okay. I'm a new, new caller, first time. You, you, so we say a-hole. Okay. <laughs> so what do what I do from here? I've been following your rules very closely. I haven't been spending more than 40 on a date. I've been, date from the past two months, over 10 different women and haven't got anywhere. Yeah, but, but wait a minute. You, you're a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah I'm and you're trying in, to change my way. All right, I, you're in Portland. Uh, let me guess. Parents are not together. They are. They are. Is your dad a pussy? Years. Um. Well, yeah. I, my mom does kind of run the relationship. There we go. And your mom kind of gave you advice on how to talk to girls. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a professor in college. Okay. So she, uh, she kind of gives me advice I probably don't need. Yeah, what does she tell you to do? Uh, treat them with respect. Oh, stop with, with that. Out. Are you kidding? What do you care if they respect you? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm in a little bit of a bind here. Well, I, look, whatever your mother told you to do, do the opposite. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. You treat women yeah. With, treat women with no respect at all. And I should get my way with them. That's what that's what they respect. You want respect? Treat women like crap. Okay. Have you heard all the guys who who call in here, who thank me because they get more ass than a toilet seat? Ever heard that? Oh yeah, I've that's, been listening. <laughs> okay, and what what is it that I tell them to do? Treat people like crap. Treat women like crap. And they're just going to be drooling all over they you. They do. Have you ever listened to a woman tell you about her ex-boyfriend and what a jerk he was? Oh, yeah. Did she have sex with him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> were, were you a jerk? Um, I wasn't a jerk. Yeah, no. did you have sex with him? No, not yet. Did you learn anything from that? Well, I, then when I tried to be a jerk, she, they, she called me like I'm just like her ex-boyfriend, and she took off. No, don't worry about it. You, you'll, no. you, you'll get your game together. You have to keep treating them like crap. And if that means you go to bars and you meet strangers and treat them like crap, too, just to hone your game, that's what you do. So practice at the bars, then? Practice at the bar. Practice with strangers, yes. Nice, nice. I mean, I, I mean, I got a lot going for me. I got my own house, make eighty k a year. Got a ski boat and got everything going. It's just, I don't. I think it's just my personality, and uh, I'm trying to get out of it. I'm, I need a slump buster. Well, I'm telling you what to do, and what okay. you need to do is simply treat them like crap. If your mother okay. told you to do something, don't do it anymore. Do the exact opposite, right? Correct. I see, I see. Well, Tom, I, I, I think it's a good thing you're doing, and I uh, appreciate everything. Is anybody who can uh, take me out, Vitka style, that reporter guy? Oh, Bill Vitka style. Yes, Bill we, Vitka style. Yes, we can certainly do that. Fox News Radio, I'm Bill Vitka. I'm Bill Vitka, and uh, just a second, I apologize for this, but I'm just a little, uh, I, I really apologize for this, as a matter of fact. There actually is a, a newscast here, uh, but... Uh, I'm 35 years old, and I'm going to be honest with you, my dad was a big pussy, and so I dropped a lot of pussy waves from him, and then I started listening to you, and I, I swear, man, I mean, I've learned more from one episode of your show than I learned from my dad in my entire life. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred talk. Thank you for tuning in. I am your professor. 
Here comes John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. You busy over there? Sorry, John. Or sorry, Tom. Um, I was calling because I'm um, a first time uh, caller, long time listener. And going based on what today's topic is, I met this girl. We went out twice. The second day I took her out, you know, I nailed it. The, the, um, we went out for a couple more times. Valentine's Day, cut her off on Valentine's Day. Broke up with her. You broke up with her on Valentine's Day? I broke up with her on Valentine's Day. Wow. Yup. She's all heartbroken. And then to this day, she's still talking about she loves me. She wants me back. Uh, she'll drop anything and everything for me. And I <laughs> turn my cheek every time. I love that. Yep. And I used to be that type of guy where, you know, I'd, I'd be the nice guy and I was always always get walked all over, but I turned that cheek. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat now? Oh, yeah. Really? Yep. Ever since I started listening to you, man, it, that's all it takes. It, you know, like the, like you said, the girls are always going to go for the guy that is going to be a jerk. And so now you're a jerk all the time. Yep. Love that. So, just wanted to share that with you, Tom. John, thank you for that. It's Steve on the Tom Likas Show, Likas 101. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Steve. Long time listener, brother. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate all your words of wisdom, and today I have a special one for you. I dumped that bitch yesterday, a live-in girlfriend, and I need some help. She just Why did you, wait, wait, let's start with this. Why did you have a live-in girlfriend? Because I violated some rules, my friend. Did you think you knew more than the professor? I don't know, maybe. Clearly you did, because the professor told you no living with chicks. I'm ready to get school, Tom. I, I hope so. Clean, I need to clean this situation up. I own the home. She's just up there crying inside right now. I'm sitting in my car, just coming off from work, wondering how I'm going to deal with it another night. Oh, <laughs> she won't move out is what you're telling me? Well, how do we do that? I've got like a 1000 bucks set aside. Do I just pay and get her out of here and pay for her apartment, or how do I do this? Well, uh, do you have a, a long-term lease? How long is your lease? I own my place. You own it? She's my roommate. Well, there's no law that says you have to have electricity. <laughs> I think she's willing to get out. I need to, like, do it this weekend and the next Good, weekend. let's go. So just crank it out? You're not paying for anything. No. So don't offer any of that? No. Why would you want to do that? To get her out of my house. She's getting out. You just told me. Yeah, she, she's going to drag her feet. I can tell already, man. I just told you what to do. <laughs> Start turning okay. off the utilities. Hmm. For example, call the cable company. Start with that. Tell them you're going on vacation and you need to temporarily turn off the cable. Does she watch TV? Definitely. She won't when you turn off the cable. <laughs> huh. Do you have a landline? No. Do you have uh, internet service? Yeah. That's next. This is DSL? Yeah, just drop all that stuff, huh? Uh, yep, one at a time. How long could this take? Well, you just do one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday and one on Thursday. I like that. Trust me when I tell you, the coup de gras will be electricity. Do you have any buddies you can go stay with? Definitely. Great. So you will turn off the electricity? I can do that. Of course you can. It's your electricity. It's in my, it's in my name. I'll do it. Tell the electric company, well, you know what, this so they don't pay charge you to reinstall it. Tell them you need to turn it off temporarily because you're going to be out of town for an extended period of time. Trust me, she's not going to live there without electricity, without gas, without internet, without TV. How do I motivate her to, to find that apartment? and yeah, Turn off the utilities and then tell her you're uh, going to move in with a friend. Yeah, what about the, uh, the locks? Don't worry about the locks. Change those once, once she's out? Once she's out, you change them, yes. If you change them before she leaves, she could call the police, and the police could throw you out and her in. Yeah, we don't want that. No. 
So the way you do this now is you are not... Why would you be required to pay for her television watching? Exactly. So don't well, do it. Well, I just got back from New Orleans from Jazz Fest, and they threatened to turn my power off. Maybe I should just let them. Yeah. Well, that, that's bad for your credit. Pay the bill and then turn it off. Hmm. Sounds like a plan, man. i got to do something. I'm definitely... Yeah. Turn it off. Hey, uh, sorry, I violated the rules, Professor. I'm going to call back with a success story in a few months. Uh, but, see, uh, I knew what I was talking about, Steve, and you thought you knew more. <laughs> You're, You're laughing. Right. I never should have let her move in, man. I told you not to let her in. And then she pussified me over the last three years. Well, you know, again, three years ago, uh, it was probably the best sex you ever had. Right? Yeah, but now there's a lot of apps. That's everywhere. why you were tempted to do something that I told you not to do. <laughs> and now you see why you need rules. This is why you need rules. Yes, you're right, sir. No one lives in your house. Because you can't change the locks and throw people out anymore. Your house, think of it as the Roach Motel. Roaches move in, but they won't move out. <laughs> Ever see the commercials for the Roach Motel? Yep. Yeah. That's what that's what your house is. It's the Roach Motel. You yeah, let a roach well. in. <laughs> I appreciate the words, man. Take now with a bong hit. There you go, Steve. one 800 5800 tom That's our telephone number. This is Cameron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How you been? Great. Hey, I got a, I got a little, I need to get some advice from your Likas 101. I'm uh, seeing this girl. I hooked up with her back like last year, you know, because her sister kind of hooked me up. And I'm 18 years old and she's 18. So, and she's, I just wanna, so let me understand. She's your girlfriend? Not really my girlfriend. I've hooked up with her. I'm trying to get to her, you know, to be my girlfriend. Why do you want a girlfriend? I want somebody to have and share love with, I guess. To share That's love the... with? Yeah, why not? What are you talking about? I mean, like, I want to get some out of her, though, you know? I mean, I thought you were getting you know, something out of her. You're banging her now. I'm not banging her now. I thought you just said that. No, I'm not banging I hooked up with her. Like, I didn't bang what her. The, what do you mean? You hooked up with her? You hooked up with her how? You know, like grab, you met her, you, know, you talked to her. <laughs> yeah, I talked to her. Yeah, hell yeah. That's not hooking up. Well, I don't know. What would you be your definition of hooking up? Having sex, hooking up using genitalia. Your genitalia are hooked together. <laughs> hooking up. All right. Talking to someone is not hooking up. That's talking to someone. All right. Um, what would you give me some advice on how to get some out of her then? Well, first of all, have you? What have you been talking about with her, and for how long? Probably this is going on for like two months now. Two yeah, months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you've you've wandered into the friend zone, Cameron. Nah. Yeah. I don't want to end up like that. You did it already. Yeah. Why did you wait two months to make a move? I don't, I'm still waiting on it too, but I don't think I should wait on it anymore. What are you waiting for? I want to get something out of her. Oh, you said you're waiting on You're waiting for her to make a move? Or should I make the move? <laughs> you you waited two months to ask this question? Pretty much, yeah. It's not, I'm, I'm the first time caller, not long time listener, though. Does she talk to you about, like, her problems and her other relationships and other guys she's dated? No, she hasn't. What does she talk to you about? She talks to me about, like, how school's going and all that stuff and if she can hang out or not or what are you going to do over the weekend and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, you're going you're gonna to have sex. <laughs> I want to. You want to know a line I used that a chick once? A chick asked me. It wasn't moving along the way I wanted it to move along. So this chick that, who had been talking to me said, what are you doing this weekend? I said, having sex. She said, really? I said, yeah, I was hoping it would be with you, but I am having sex this weekend. It worked. Right. She had sex with me that weekend. She didn't want to, but she did. The Tom Likas Show.